Response video to Pyro, primarily on the subject of virtual reality. So I guess I'll start a new series called Virtual Reality, um, and uh, you know, try to. Well, we'll just go through this stuff. The part that needs to be going through as the need arises, I will provide further explanation. Um, but clearly, it's a big problem. I mean, Pyro has seen most of my videos, I think, on the subject, and he's heard the stickham conversations more than once, and he still plays the same stupid game. He still sits there and just completely breaks down everything I've said, and just uh, like it never was said. Um, I made the point a dozen times more. I don't know. I've I've never used. I don't use the word matrix. It's just a, it's an idiotic example of virtual reality. No one would choose mundane stupid real life that would be just idiotic <laughs> okay I mean if you can create a world you're not gonna do that you're gonna make it blue sky all the time you're not gonna make it rain there's a lot of things you just take out of the world so you could enjoy it more um, it would be just dumb to leave all the crap in there all the bad smells and all the other nasties that exist why put you know malaria back in the world again why put cracks in the sidewalk back in the world again be no point in doing any of that crap I've used the original Star Trek episode the pilot episode you know 50 years ago whatever um, as the example of a, of a good diagram of the of getting the most out of virtual reality because it is a, it is a world that still has it has details of life but it has these extras these add-ons where yes you can interact with your dead favorite horse and you know grandma can come back or this you know you can you can make the most of it you create a rich real life but uh, uh it can be as adventurous or passive as you know you're comfortable with um but regardless so let's go through this again just just for pyro um <laughs> you know <laughs> virtual reality can have exactly the crappy world that exists right now you could live exactly the life you're living right now could be substantially duplicated in virtual reality so just take that as the premise now you have the, the capacity to weed out stuff to, to just pull the weeds out of your reality <clears throat> the stuff that you really don't gain any benefit from the stuff you just don't need to be reminded of or nagged by um, you know the nonsense the drudgery okay so you can get rid of that <clears throat> that nine to five job can go um, you know washing the dishes can go you know all these all, all this little bullshit that clutters up your you know paying bills that can go uh, you know and so people can start to imagine now okay let's just say you're it's like the ultimate retirement program all right so you and you you know you can do anything you want so I mean some people might enjoy like, you know, I, I could imagine myself even saying, yeah, I'd like to play every golf course in the world, <laughs> you know, or whatever. So every day I just go out and play golf. I could, I could live with that. Uh, yeah, I could enjoy that. And I do it without, yeah, I don't need water fountains and this and that. I don't need a lot of the bullshit stuff. I don't need to eat lunch. I don't need to go to the bathroom. No, you know, I can get rid of a lot of bullshit. And, you know, maybe every time I score a birdie, there's just a, a fact of nature that when you do well on a hole and you play it well you know some little hottie pops out of the forest and you know you go on a little romp for a half an hour and then get back to the game I mean there's lots of you know you can create any kind any world you want you can sit there and describe any reality that you can conceive of can be written as a program as a game <clears throat> and it's just it's you know but I mean start with the start with the real premise that I'm arguing like I said it's virtual reality you can make it real you can make it this you can make it stupid if that's your choice if you want mo mundane and struggly and yeah you only get any every 50 years that's your choice fine go play the stupid mundane game pull the mundane idiotic moron game out of off the shelf and shove it in your slot and say yeah I want to play that really hard shitty game for 50 years if I on the other hand say no I don't need I don't look I don't need the desire I already have appreciation I've lived a life I've been programmed I don't, I don't have a roller coastery crazy ass need for excitement now I already know what I want I know how to enjoy it so I'll just go to the you know 
really simple game you know I don't need it complicated I don't need to, to uh, build up the tension I've already I've already acquired enough tension living in reality <laughs> and, and uh, it, you know my pre-program has already got me there I, I was sort of already there when I was seven years old I was already tense enough okay I didn't need I didn't need to learn any more appreciation I already knew what it was to have and not to have and uh, yeah, I'd rather have. Yeah, that's how it works. So, you know, and, I, and again, the whole point of virtual reality is to escape the fact that in the real world, there's the the, the blight, the adventure is fucking dangerous. There's no 15,000 lives. You, you can't just fall off the cliff and then start the game over again. You can't do a lot of things that you can do in virtual reality. So in virtual reality, you can take preposterous risks and there's so many aspects of this argument that just you just keep ignoring as as if um i mean i mean i can't think i can't believe you're that unimaginative in your own mind that you can't seriously think through how this would work how you could take optimal advantage of such an environment and instead you keep describing it in the in these idiotic words and ways that have absolutely nothing to do with its real potential. Um, so I mean, anyway, look, it's another separate argument about how technically feasible this is and how long it would take and all these other bullshit nitpicky crap. But at least get this this basic part right. These assholes who keep arguing, you know, that they need this or they need that to make their life meaningful. You can have that. It is not the matrix. Everybody doesn't live in the same world. Everybody lives in the world they choose. So, I mean, if you choose to live your, to, to play your game as a single player, you know, that should be a terminology everybody understands, um, and you interact with the things you need to interact with and push the buttons you need to push to get the stuff you're after, the cheese, and that's all this is. It's just a better way of, it's, a, it's another cheese chasing maze, except you can make the maze anything you want. Um, you know, and then there's the alternative. If you want to interact with other people and you think somehow that matters and that you need real people instead of simulated people and, you know, you, you know, the, you need to have, you know, intercourse, you know, with women that have PhDs or something. They have to be real PhDs from like real universities or some other bullshit. They don't have to just say a few right phrases and smell good and look great. If that's not enough for you, okay, fine. Play your game, all right? I'll sit in my virtual reality when I'm in my, like, real virtual reality where once in a while I might stage myself into before I decide to play some other game. I'll laugh my ass off at the jackass shoving the mundane bullshit life game in the slot. I'm sorry. That's just going to seem so fucking ludicrous to me that somebody would choose the asshole program. I mean, really, the asshole program where there's still starving people and blight and misery and suffering all over the goddamn place and everything is grungy and dirty and you know nicotine stained or whatever I mean fuck that anybody who puts that game program in yes I'm sorry I'm gonna laugh my ass off I mean that will be almost more entertaining than the fucking game we will just be contemplating somebody stupid enough to put mundane real life game into the slot so fuck you. I mean, fuck, you know, you've, like I said, we've been over this. There's no excuse for you to bring up something like Matrix. Um, and, and there's no excuse for you to make this argument that uh, you, you're going to somehow not, like I said, we've already talked about this. Virtual reality is not the same as you sitting in this world saying, I'm in virtual, re I'm going to go into virtual reality now. It would be a suspension of reality just like the dream state where you're not going to know you're in virtual reality when you're in virtual reality. You're going to be playing the goddamn game for real. You're not going to be sitting back saying, I know what's going to happen next because you won't know what's going to happen next. You don't even know that there's something programming things so there will be a next. You'll think you are in reality, virtual reality, not virtual virtual reality not virtual fake reality not virtual I know it's just a fucking game reality I mean shit you people aren't this dumb you really you can't be this dumb alright um, I have too much respect for your intelligence to believe you can say the crap you're saying and making the arguments you're making so stop doing it because you're really too smart to be this stupid
I got a little extra time, so just throw this little ad on at the end. Um, look, I am sorry about the number of videos. I know it's a lot of videos, and if somebody else was making 40 minutes or 50 minutes of videos a day, I'd be like, what the fuck? You think I got nothing better to do? Listen to you, asshole. So, yeah, I, I kind of appreciate that you're not maybe not going to be watching all of these videos. Um, so maybe you can catch up on them at some later time when things are a little slower and you got a little extra time. Because um, the, the irony is, <laughs> I think these are pretty good videos. But that's the way it goes.